Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Our hearts are heavy tonight. How is it possible to have Shabbat joy? How do we find the true rest that God tells us to have on the seventh day? How do we sing tonight? I'm reminded of our Hasidic teaching that there are three levels of mourning. The lowest is with tears, the middle is with silence, and the highest is with song. So tonight we are here specifically to be together for Shabbat, to find a measure of comfort in embracing each other as we pray together and we sing. Let's begin with... Yinamatov on page 10. Shevetachim gam yachad Hine matov umanayim 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 Shevetachim gam yachad Hine Shevetachim gam yachad Hine matov umanayim Shevetachim gam yachad Hine matov umanayim Shevetachim gam yachad I'd like to invite up Mindy and Zoe to light our Shabbat candles on page two and three. Three and two. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Shelesh 
Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You can go to your seat. So with the lighting of the Shabbat candles, um, Shabbat begins as it does every week, regardless of what's happening in the world, regardless of the weather, regardless of whether it's your uh, birthday or anniversary, regardless if you're tired or weary, Shabbat happens to remind us that we need this rest. It commands us to take a break, to rejuvenate our souls and replenish our bodies. Shabbat brings a special holiness that is unlike any other. However, since the last Shabbat, it has been a heavy, painful, intense, exhausting, horrifying, and awful week. It's been filled, uh, it has filled my being with anguish and despair. And like you, I'm sure, we are all struggling to comprehend, like we're stuck in some thick, oozing mud. My brain's been foggy this week. My heart has been broken. But tonight, as I said before, we're here together as a community, as a family, where we'll sing and pray and smile and rejoice, and we will create holiness tonight. We'll stop for even for a brief moment to remember this special period of escapism, because through our prayer and hope that we'll hold on to the dream of someday there will be peace. We'll offer words of healing tonight. We are not going to let violence and oppression and brutality win. We're going to let our love shine brightly and fiercely. And uh, even though the week has drained us, it attempted to consume us, and we feel the pain of our family in Israel crying to us, we respond with love, so much love with each other and with spreading love out into the world. Our prayers will fill the space. And so in thinking about those cries and those tears, we're going to light a third candle tonight. So I'd like to invite my wife to come up to light that candle. And my daughter. Daughter. One daughter. Tonight we light a third candle to remember and not to forget so that their memories will be for blessing, for fathers, grandfathers, husbands, sons, brothers, brothers-in-law, mothers, grandmothers, wives, daughters, daughters-in-law, sisters, cousins, friends, names we are just learning, names we should always remember. We light for them, for children, infants, toddlers, teens who have not yet tasted the fruits of life. We light for them, for soldiers, concert goers, kibbutz nakim, for people waiting for a bus, we light for them. For people who just wanted to live their lives in peace, for those who worked and strove for peace, we light for them. So for those taken hostage, let us keep it lit until they are reunited with their loved ones, reunited with life. We light for them. There are not enough candles. There is not enough grief, enough anger, enough worry, enough sadness. There are not enough candles. Let us be the light. Let us be the sparkles. Released, sparkling released at the dawn of creation. If there are not enough candles, let us let us then be the light. Amen. We say it together. Amen. Let us be the light. And it went out. <laughs> I will light it again. Let's continue our Shabbat service, where the candles is going to tell us what's next. Let's turn to page 12 with Lechun Ranana, the beginning of Kabbalat Shabbat. This is our third. This is the song. This is our way to show our love and our gratitude. Lechun Ranana, Lechun Ranana, Lechun Ranana, La Dona. Lechu neranena, lechu neranena, lechu neranena, la donai. 
נריה, נריה, לצור אישנו, נקדמה פניו בתודה. נריה, נריה, לצור אישנו, בזמירות נריה לו. לכו נרננה, לכו נרננה, לכו נרננה על אדוני. לכו נרננה, לכו נרננה, לכו נרננה על אדוני. We continue page 24 with uh, the singing of Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Kadosh Baruch Hu Bo'achem l'shalom Malachi ha-shalom Malachi Kadosh Baruch Hu Tzedchem l'shalom Malachi ha-shalom Malachi elion Mi melech Malachi ha-melachim We continue a welcoming Shabbat on page 20. Thank you. 
בשלום עטרת בעלה, גם בשמחה ובצהולה, תוך אמוני עם סגולה. בואי חלה, בואי חלה, לך דודי דודי, לך דודי We stood up and we faced the entrance as if uh, the bride were to enter, in this case it was Shabbat that entered into the room and entered into our spirits, our souls, and ourselves. So let's take a moment, find someone around you, behind you, in front of you, someone you don't recognize, wish them Shabbat Shalom, introduce yourself. Somebody else. All right, we'll continue this conversation at Oneg. Let's, uh, page 28. The high holidays are officially over. We're back to our regular Torahs. Yay. <laughs> I mean, aww. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. is on page 34. I'm actually going to close the doors, but we'll remain standing for Shema. Page 34. <laughs> Shem kevod, Shem kevod, malchuto le'olam va'ed. Please be seated, except for you, young man. Be a half to this thing. Page 36. Oh, wait, we have a microphone. Yep. Click. Okay. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavacha Uvechol nafshecha Uvechol meodecha Ve'hayu Hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi Metzavecha Hayom Page 
בשבתך, בביתך, ובלתך ודרך, ובשוך בך, ובקומך, ובשרתם לאות על ידך, והיו לנטוטפות בין עיניך. וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיהם אני אדוני אלוהיהם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם יאשר כוח Maybe we'll uh, see you later, huh? Maybe, maybe, just maybe. But go away. You, you can just, 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 just. All right, don't run. It's unsafe. All right, page 40. Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha. All right, so this might be a new melody for, for some of you, but don't worry, it's interactive. It is. You'll see in a moment. And now it's just me. And then you'll sing with me. From the beginning. true we're going to the screen it says on the queue we're going to the screen no let's that's not <laughs> see i'm afraid to follow the cue sheet <laughs> but i've learned to ask now i don't even trust it anymore so that's good <laughs> page 42 is our hashki venu is our prayer for offering us to cuts of peace a shelter of peace and tonight we are indeed praying for a shelter of peace over all Israel and over all of our people. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Leshalom Vehamitenu Shomreinu Lechaim Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Shalom, we have it in our shamre. No, 
Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom vehamitenu shomreinu le chayim Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom vehamitenu shomreinu le We continue with uh, page 44, our Vishamru. Vishamru, Bene Israel, et Shabbat la Aso. Shabbat Continue on page 46 with our Tefila. We ask all those who are able to please rise. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufia giteilatecha Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avoteinu, Vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka. Elohei Rachel, Elohei Lea, Ha El Hagadol, Hagibo, Vehanora, El Elion, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezoher Hasteavot, Vehimahot, Umevi Geula, Livnevnehem, Leman Shemo, Beahava. Melech Ozer Umoshiyah Umagen Baruch Ata Adonai Magen Avraham Vezrat Sara Ata Gibo Leolam Adonai Mechaye Hakol Ata Rav Lehoshiyah Mashiv Haruach Umorid Hagashem Mechalkel Chayim Bechesed 
מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, צומך נופלים והופך עולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים מאמונתו לשני עפר, מחמוך בעל גבורות ומדום אלך, מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישועה, ונאמן אתה להחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני, מחיה הכל. אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום, יללו חסלה. ברוך אתה אדוני, האל הקדוש. On page 55 at the top, we'll find the words to pray together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh ha-shabbat. We take a moment for page 60. What happens on page 60? We're, that's wait, where we're going. We're going to page 60, and while you're traveling there, take a moment for silent personal prayer, personal meditation, uh, and then you'll have arrived at page 60, right? It's not on the cue sheet, just saying. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Ata Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom continue with our Torah service on page 244. Uh, is 244? Do we move it? It's on still page 244? All right, page 244, and we ask you to please rise. Aaron, I'm going to ask for your help, please. Yeah. <laughs> מלכות אחד, מלכות כל עולמים, וממשלת אחד בכל דור ודור. אדוני מלך, אדוני מלך, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. אדוני עוז עמו ייתן, אדוני יברך. 
את עמו ושלום. אב הרחמים היטיבה ברצונך את ציון. תבנה חומות ירושלים, תבנה חומות ירושלים. כי בך לבד בטחנו, מלך אל רם ונישא אדון עולמים. כי מציון תצא תורה, כי מציון תצא תורה, ודבר אדוני מירושלים, ברוך שנתן תורה תורה, ברוך שנתן תורה תורה לעמו ישראל בקדושתו. שמע ישראל אדוני אלוהינו אדוני אחד אחד אלוהינו גדול אדוננו קדוש שמו גדלו לאדוני איתי ונרוממה שמו יחדל לך אדוני הגדולה והגבורה והתפארת והנצח והאור כי חול בשמיים ובארץ כי חול בשמיים ובארץ לך אדוני הממלכה תמיד נעשה לכו ולראש. Please be seated. So this is a true story. This is, this is what happened. It's a true story. I was born in Houston. Spent my first 18 years of my life in Houston. Uh, after college and seminary, coincidentally, My wife and I were placed uh, in Dallas, where my boys were born, and then God moved us to Arizona, where my girls were born, and you know where I'm going with this? I can't lose, folks, unless Philadelphia wins. <laughs> Houston, the Rangers, and the Diamondbacks. Just saying, it doesn't have anything to do with me, but does it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's been a fun week, mixed ride, mixed emotions. I'll tell you, I've had the game on all week watching. It's very exciting. Um, look, friends, God loves baseball. It says it right here. In the big innings. <laughs> huh? Huh? Okay. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, that's about all the tour I read this week because I've been so excited about uh, our uh, playoffs. I was just wondering if there was anybody who could bail me out because I've been so focused. Can you do it? Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Thanks for bailing me out. I don't know who you are, and we didn't plan this, but here's the microphone, and we'll, well, you know what we'll do? We'll do the blessing for you so that I don't know what you're ready to do or not. So page 250, let's do the blessing together. We're going to sing it. One, two, three. Keep going. Adonai. Let me see if this is on. I don't know what you've prepared to do, but if I were you, I'd start in the big inning. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim va et haaretz 
Veharetz Haita Tovavohu Veho Shech Opene Tehom Veruach Elohim Merachefet Opene Hamayim. That looks, that sounds really interesting. I want to hear more about that creation story, but man, are we out of time. Can we pick this up tomorrow morning? Yeah, you want to read some more for us and we'll talk more about this creation in six days and how it was good? That's what, I mean, that's all God could say. It was good. Not a, not a very, man, a lot of words. God, a lot of, anyway, um, um, how's 1030? Does that work for your schedule? Do you want to check with people? Are you good? That's good? That works for you? Okay, cool. Aiden Brown, woo! Buzz it up! got a bar mitzvah, woo! Know what I want. It's okay. Let's do the blessing after. Thank you. At time shalosh. Baruchata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet Vechaye Olam Nata Betocheinu Baruchata Adonai Noten Hatorah Amen. Amen. So I've said this before, um, when we had opportunities with the Torah out to offer blessings, um, what we, um, let's say, when the Torah was out, we've had the opportunity to make a blessing for a wedding couple, um, or we always offer a blessing for those who are sick um, or, or need healing. So a Misha Berach is not the prayer for healing. A Misha Berach could be a prayer for anything. Misha Berach is a general word. We're just so used to hearing it in the context of those who are healing. So we're going to do a Misha Berach. We're going to do a few Misha Berachs tonight. Um, we're going to offer a Misha Berach um, for, the, uh, for uh, the hostages. We're going to offer a Misha Berach for the IDF, the, the, uh, our forces. Um, and then we'll offer a, a Misha Berach for uh, our loved ones and anyone else who could use that prayer of healing. So Mishaberach Avotenu Bimotenu, may the one who blessed our ancestors watch over and protect the civilians and soldiers taken hostage last weekend. May God have compassion on them and grant them a speedy and safe return. May God save them and bring them from captivity to freedom, from enslavement to redemption, from darkness to light. May the Holy One of Blessing grant them and all those wounded in the current violence a complete healing, a healing of spirit and a healing of body strengthening their hearts, fortifying their courage, and soon, God willing, letting them know joy and gladness. As we all say, amen. We offer a prayer for the IDF. May the one who blessed our ancestors, the Misha Berach, Avotenu, Vimotenu, bless the soldiers of the IDF, the Israel Defense Force, and all who stand guard in order to protect our people. May the Holy One, blessed be God, protect them, save them from all troubles and afflictions, from sickness and er injury, and send blessing to all their ende endeavors. And let us say, Amen. And then we add Misha Berach for those who uh, could use a prayer of healing and wholeness, who may be feeling broken. Um, if you, someone is feeling broken physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I, I think that would... By definition, just de facto include all of us, but if there's someone that you wish to add specifically, I invite you to share a name out loud. So the Misha Berach that we are used to is on page 253. <laughs> Sing and 
Shane and Kyle, will you help me dress the Torah, please? Will the three of you come up? And the rest of us, please rise. We return Torah. וזאת התורה אשר שם משה לפני בני ישראל על פי אדוני ביד משה. הללו, 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 הללו. Ha'im hi Lama chazikim ba V'tom cheha Me'ushar D'racheha D'archei noam V'chol netivoteha Shalom Ha'shivenu Venashuva Chadesh Chadesh Yameinu Chadesh Yameinu Kekedem Please be seated. They say that last weekend was Israel's 9-11. To put that in perspective, on our 9-11, nearly 3,000 American citizens were murdered out of a population of 350 million. And it was only afterwards that entered that uh, United States entered into immediately an 18-year-long war that ended up claiming the lives of more than 430,000 civilians, and that's not including Al-Qaeda or Taliban operatives. Last week, the terror claimed, unfortunately at this point, 1,300 Israeli lives out of 7 million citizens, which would be equivalent to as if our 9-11 was 50,000 people dead. Hamas committing unthinkable acts of mass slaughter is far from resistance. One of the things I've seen in the news. They call them, some news programs, militants. They're Hamas militants, I've seen. But it's the wrong word. It implies that people fighting some kind of military battle. And these were not militants. These were terrorists out to destroy as many human lives as they could. They did not care if the victims were women or children, elderly or babies. They didn't care if they were young people attending a music festival. I've bounced from news program to news program, website, website, just constantly frustrated with the coverage, the mixture of deep sadness how could human lives have so little value? 
We mourn the dead. We seek the return of the hostages. And we pray and we act to protect Israel from this barbar barbarism. This week, all joking aside, of course, we start reading from the very beginning. We read from the, the beginning of, of how murder entered the world, literally. Cain raises up and kills his brother Abel. God warns him that, quote, sin couches at the door, but that he can overcome it. Our human tendency towards hatred and murder can be controlled, but too often we've chosen not to control it. We've seen this kind of act, whether it was the Holocaust or in other parts of the world, too often. And last week, unfortunately, we saw it in Israel. The Torah is teaching us a very clear message that every human being is infinitely precious in the sight of God. Humans are indeed created in the image of God. Multiple times, the Torah says, love the stranger. A deep respect for human life is the heart of the Torah. So why do we, with our own free will, Ignore, why do human beings ignore this teaching? Why do human beings create such carnage? I give the same answer I give, unfortunately, that we've had these events in the past, whether we're talking and answering questions about the Holocaust or other atrocities of history. The terrorists who crossed the border did not see Israelis as human beings, period. They were vermin in their eyes. That's how the Nazis viewed the Jews and so many other victims. They saw them as less than human, like rats that needed to be uh, eliminated. And that's how evil begins, when humans no longer see the humanity in the other. It began with Cain in this week's Torah portion, when he did not see his brother as human. And unfortunately, it continues to this very day. In the face of this evil, the message of the Torah needs to be heard more now than ever before. Every human being, no matter their race, religion, nationality, or belief system, is created in the image of God. Every human being deserves respect. My hope is that after the Holocaust, the world would have learned that lesson. And sadly, as we've learned this week, the world has not learned. So what should Israel do? It must do whatever is necessary to rescue the hostages, period. It must do whatever is necessary to protect its own citizens, period. And it must do it in a way that minimizes the loss of life in Gaza, the most densely populated territory in the world. How? How? I wish I had the answer as much as anyone else. The task will be difficult. There is no clear answer. Outside of Israel, we can pray. We, as I've said already this week, can send money. We can publicly participate in community events and vigils. But perhaps more importantly, we can fight. Each one of us can feel the power to fight evil with overwhelming goodness in our actions, in our behaviors, in our everyday lives. As we begin reading this new cycle of Torah, it's our duty to not only just read it, but also to practice it, to do it, to proclaim the Torah's message that human life is precious, that evil must be fought, and perhaps to quote a song that we sing at Hanukkah, that light will come and push away the darkness. Adonai ozi moitain, Adonai yivarech etamo shalom. May God grant strength to our people, and may God bless our people with peace, as we say, Amen.
I'd like to add a prayer for the state of Israel. O heavenly one, another Mishaberach, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them to your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend the Holy Land. Grant them deliverance. Adorn them in a mantle of victory. Establish peace in the land and the fullness of joy for all who dwell there. As we say, Amen. If you know this prayer, you can join me. You might recognize a few words. It means our parent in the, in the heaven, rock and redeemer of Israel. Bless the state of Israel, the start of flowering of redemption. Shield it with your love. Spread over it the shelter of your peace. Avinu, avinu, sheba shamayim, tzur Yisrael vegoalo. Avinu, avinu, sheba shamayim, tzur Yisrael vegoalo. Barech, barech, en medina. Reshit mechad geulatenu Hagen alea beevrat chastecha Ufros alea sukat shlomecha Avinu, avinu, sheba shamayim Tzur Yisrael vegoalo Avinu, avinu Sheba shamayim Tzur Yisrael vegoalo I want to thank all of those who are online who are with us tonight to include their prayers for Israel and to join us for Shabbat and I want to uh, extend a um, thank you to all of you in the room who are here uh, that did not let fear and uh, um, let not let fear win. That we are uh, we're here and we won't we won't be uh, we won't have our lives changed. Um, this is as I said in our message, my message to the congregation this week that we are in it for. A marathon, not a sprint, and we have to breathe, and we have to um, talk. We can't keep everything uh, inside. So the cantor and I will have sort of an open listening circle. Um, I know that we've been sharing with each other, and tears flowing, and and we'd love for you to join us Sunday morning at nine forty-five. Our kids will be safe and in the classrooms and we'll be in the social hall um, and just talk and share and we'll see where the conversation goes. But we shouldn't be alone. We shouldn't we can come and be together and talk and feel and um, we'll see where the conversation goes. But you're all invited uh, to be there. We also should not feel guilty about living. Feel guilty that um, um, that we have a simcha to share, um, and we should enjoy it, and we should be together, and we should have a wonderful weekend, and we should uh, celebrate being called to the Torah, and we should celebrate the teaching of Torah, um, and I, I want to know that that is one of the greatest acts that we can do, is to perform the acts of doing Jewish all the more so now than ever before. That's how we win. That's how Am Yisrael Chai truly happens. That's how the people live, is that we do. We continue to do, and we do it even more now. But we understand that we're hurting, so we open, we talk, and we do. We do both. Um, is there anything that has to be said other than that? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to move to conclude our prayers. Um, I'd like to invite up all of our young people and I, what I, the description of a young person is, what? 
my, the prescription. Oh, by the way, I just want to point out, I was, I, just so you're on the inside circle of the joke, I was giving the canner um, a hard time about the cue sheet because I'm notorious for I don't follow the cue sheet. I'm the improver all the time, so I'm poking fun that she's not... I just want to, before she's going to jump on me later, I want to jump on the grenade first because I know where she's going with this. And so I'm just going to say it publicly. So <laughs> I, know, I knew it. <laughs> I, said, well, I was making a jab, jab. I know what you were thinking. So uh, with that being said, um, if you are, let's say, not yet a bar mitzvah and everybody younger than that, Please come up and help with the uh, argument. This may be your last walk. Like if you were became a bat mitzvah last week, you're out. You're an adult. See ya. <laughs> but if your bat mitzvah bar mitzvah is tomorrow, that's not happening. Uh, please rise as we welcome the cutest kids in the world. <laughs> שלא עשנו כגויי הארצות ולא שמנו כמשפחות אדמה שלא שם חלקנו כהם וגור עלינו ככל המונם ואנחנו כוחים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלאכים הקדוש ברוך הוא ונאמר והי אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו ושמו Thank you, everyone. We remain standing as we recite our Kaddish Atom, our mourner's Kaddish. It has been a terrible week of reciting the Kaddish for the 1,300 or even more that we've lost already. We're also thinking our loved ones that we have lost in recent days or at this season and years past and may be observing a yard site. If uh, you are here to recite a name and wish to say it out loud, I invite you to do so now. Kaddish is up above or on page 294. Yit gadal v'yit kadash mei rabah be'alma divrach erte v'lamich machute v'chai echon v'yom echon v'chai d'cho b'yit Yisrael v'agala u'vizman kari v'imru amen Yehesh mei rabah mevorach le'alam o'mel maya Vid Barach, Vid Tabach, Vid Pa'ar, Vid Ramam, Vid Nase, Vid Tadar, Vid Hale, Vid Halal, Shemei Kudesha, Brichu, Leela, Minko, Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Bechata, Venechemata, Da Amiran, Be Alma, Vimru, Amen. Ehe Shlama Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vechaim Alenu, Velko Israel, Vimru, Amen. O Se Shalom, Bimromav, Hu ya ase shalom, aleinu ve alko Yisrael, vimru amen. Zichornam levracha, may all of the memories be for a blessing as we say amen. We flip back to page five as we recite the Kiddush and we call back after having done a great job of the Torah, the proud Papa.
אדוני, אלוהים מלך העולם, בורא פרי הגפן. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר קידשנו במצוותיו, ורצבנו. בשבת קודשו, באהבה וברצון, הנחילנו. זיכרון למעשה בראשית, כי הוא יום תחילה למקרא הקודש, זכר ליציאת מצרים. קיבלנו בחרת ואותנו קידשת מכל בשבת קודשך באהבה ורצון הנחלתנו. ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת לחיים. Your wife and your kids, come on down. Let's make motzi. By the way, there are, I'll take this from you. Uh, amongst you, I won't name names, but amongst you are folks who are here for the first time tonight. Not just family, which first of all, we want to welcome the family of the Browns um, and the Weinbergs. If you, you welcome for the Simcha, but also there are others who are here for the first time tonight. So please make an effort to, as we walk out, just if you don't see someone around you, in front of you, behind you, um, say hello. Don't just walk out. Say hello. Uh, walk, enjoy, go get a, a own egg, a dessert um, in a moment. But first, we're going to celebrate um, the bounty that we have, which we don't take for granted this week. Hold. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם המוציא לחם מן הארץ בתיאבון. You can put it arms around next to the person next to you. Put your arms around the person next to you. We're going to sing Ose Shalom. We pray for peace. As you get a piece of challah if you want. Ose Shalom Vimromav Hu Yaase Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Ve'im Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom.